do not let a national incident be the driving force for you to locate that funding, okay? We serve as a prime example of that. And I will most certainly tell you that it will almost certainly cost you much more money to implement it at that time. But you will also lose trust with the women and men of your departments, your stakeholders, and most importantly, your communities. It is also paramount that we understand the importance of building technology and how we should go about using that technology. It is not there to serve as a check the box or an insurance policy to say, we have technology. You must build a vision for it, communicate that vision, solicit commitment and buy-in from your personnel and then grow it into the fabric of your DNA, your agency's operations, as well as your culture, okay? Without that, again, it's just another tool on the shelf. With that, I'd like to thank Mark 43 again for their incredible partnership, for their innovation, for all that they're doing to help improve the quality of service in our profession. One of the things that we did not do well and that we're trying to learn how to do better is to understand our data. What does that data mean? Uh, out of the box, we're using the Mark 43 analytics tool. So out of the box, use of force happens. You have shared dashboards where they come in and it automatically breaks it up by de-escalations, de-escalations by age, de-escalations by race, forced by race, forced by age, things that you know we don't have to do anything with. The system does it for us. As the trooper enters the information into the system and submits it, it pulls the data back and starts updating those dashboards. So we're trying to understand our trends now. Uh, I've created a trend uh, dashboard where we're looking at this. And as I'm going around and talking to the, the troopers around the state and the detectives, I'll ask them, tell me what day you think is the most prominent day for use of force activity, for pursuit activity. Where are we when we look at the day of the week? Everybody across the board will sit down and say, uh, Friday or Saturday, when they're looking at when do they have the most activity, maybe on a Thursday night. Our pursuits are higher on those days, but our use of force is higher on Tuesdays. When you look at the system, by far, right? And why on Tuesdays? What are we looking at? What jumps out? Without having this type of real-time data, it would be struggling for us. I can tell you right off the bat, because we're in the data, Tuesday is higher than others because of Mardi Gras. That Tuesday, our troopers are working down in the French Quarter, and that is, has spiked our use of force incidences. I think it's going to be tremendous in letting our very easily let our force investigation unit be able to look back and see trends on officers, be in, seeing trends in troops. You know, so that may play a part in their investigation. I definitely on our training academy, though, be able to look at and understand so that we can impact and adjust our in-service training on a year-to-year -year basis. I'm going to tell you right now that I just the excitement in the room from the presentation from Mark 43 was incredible. Uh, we knew that they had something special that we hadn't heard before. And, I, you know, and I've been in this game for a long time, 32 years. You know, I, I, I was on patrol when we wrote hand wrote reports. The, the system is very intuitive. And, and by that, I mean, for example, an officer wants to write, to say, a burglary report. And he types at the top of his report, burglary. And then every field he sees after that only pertains to a burglary report. So in our old system, the officer would get ready to write an offense report for burglary, and every field for every report would pop up. So he would have to tab through that entire report just to write a burglary report. With Mark 43, every field that is there has to do with that particular report he's writing. So it cuts down tremendous time for the officer. Uh, officers now have better collaboration on their reports. And, and by that, I mean an, an officer can start writing a narrative on a report when his, his buddy can start entering information on the suspect in the same report or uh, maybe entering property um, in a theft or a burglary on the same report. So officers can collaborate on the same report at the same time, which we couldn't do before in our legacy system. Officers love that. Uh, the best thing that I love about it is there's very little, if zero, downtime for maintenance or upgrades, and, and, and that's because it's web-based or cloud-based. In our old system, if we needed to do an upgrade or some kind of maintenance, we'd be down for, you know, a week or two. The, the system is tremendous.
community engagement perspective, of course, you know, officers are taking very little or less time writing reports. So now they're available for the community much more. And we see that and we hear that when we're out at homeowners meetings or different engagements. We hear that. But also detectives are able to follow up quickly with with victims of crime uh, because they're able to get those reports in their inbox immediately. So, you know, for victims of crime, that's important. You know, if, if you're a victim of crime and you don't hear from a detective for, for two weeks, in your mind, you're thinking, oh, well, the police don't think that I'm important or my case is important. But the way it works now is, you know, the, the detective will get the case now and the victim will hear really quickly from that detective. So, you know, from a, from a transparency and from an accountability piece, uh, that's huge for our department and for, and for the residents of, of San Antonio. When you have an incredible RMS system like this and your officers are happy, your detectives are happy, it's just it's just incredible. I mean, morale is better and, and, and life is better. The customer service that we that we get with Mark 43 is incredible. They're always there for us. I see emails going back and forth every day um, between our technology team and Mark 43. You just got to pick the right company. And in my opinion and the opinion, opinion of SAPD, it's Mark 43. Officers are able to do a lot more from their phone and away from their car. They uh, they can get updates. Uh, they can uh, change their status. They can add notes to the narrative of the call. Uh, they can uh, see what other officers are doing uh, instantly. It's been a, a huge help, and we can see how it's not only going to relieve our dispatchers from a lot of functions that they've typically been relied on for, it's going to help increase our officers' efficiencies. I handed them the phone, showed them how to log in, and just let them have it. It's on scene is really intuitive. It mirrors a lot of the functionality of first responder. So when they got into the app on the phone, they found it extremely easy to use. Things that they really like, uh, we now have on-person GPS for the officers that are utilizing the on scene app, which uh, we can see will increase officer safety out in the field. Uh, additionally, it also shows the location of your RP, which is a really nice feature, especially when your RP is not at the same location as the phone. It uh, gives the officers the ability to uh, find that person and contact them directly. Uh, you can make phone calls to the RP, which has been a big hit uh, from our dispatchers. The officers are no longer, the officers that are testing are no longer asking dispatch to phone their RP for additional information. Uh, they can uh, complete that task with one button from inside, pushing one button from inside the app. Watching the growth of of where we were at the very beginning to now, it's it's uh, uh, it's only been, you know, positive for us to be able to leverage all the experiences that your that Mark Forty Three has done and technology in general, um, especially going into the cloud. And we'll talk about that um, and how you know that has given us an opportunity to not only make our our jobs safer for our officers but more efficient how do we measure community policing how do we measure like the value of what's happening out there how do we measure how many times our police officers get out of the car and where are they getting out of the cars and the business engagements and and those types of things so uh, with the technology that we are able to have now and access to you know, we were able to put that together, put it on a map, and and for me as the chief, be able to go out to the community meetings and explain. You now, here's the things that our officers are doing besides fighting crime. Um, they're really getting out of the cars and engaging. And here's how many times they've checked your local parks. Here's how many times they've gone to your schools to get out of their cars. Here's how many times they actually checked that specific business over there. And to be able to quickly have that information really brought brought value. Um, uh, an increased value and and a better understanding from the community of what the what the officers are doing out there on a daily basis on a more efficient manner uh, of how we do business it's been a game changer why we partnered with mark 43 early on was that notion of being in there with us at the beginning because we've been let down for so many years of you know different um, changes in, in the companies and technologies we deal with. Um, so I think uh, being, feel like you're, you're a partner with them is, is a big part.